what's going on, you guys? Mr. Woody1235, back here yet again. Back for another album review. Frank at the Celebration. Stomach Aches. I believe he got his last name because I'm not going to butcher it like I did last time. And I still don't completely know how to say it. Iero? Iero? Whatever. Let's just move on. This album is called Stomach Aches. This is the first album that he put together after MCR's breakup. And uh, I had a request to review it from one person. But I care enough to listen to this thing for you because I actually have the time you asked at a perfect time and uh, I'm here to check it out because I like My Chemical Romance and after that disappointing cover that was on that Kerrang! Magazine uh, American Idiot tribute album from Frank uh, I told her I would check out this, this guy, I would check out this album and I've listened to a bit of it since I got it last night and uh... I didn't hate it, if that counts for anything. But anyway, this is Stomach Aches. Sounds very, uh, old My Chemical Romance. Watch out, they fuck! Definitely old My Chemical Romance right here. Yeah, this is one hell of an intro track. <laughs> Woo! Waited. That bass, man, sounds really, um, close to the microphone. It's a, it's a real bass being played. I like that. His vocals aren't really my favorite thing in the world, though. I feel like I should be, like, wearing, like, black eyeliner and have, like, silky black hair and smoke and drink coffee out behind the school with the golf kids. Holy shit! That chorus, man! That's a pretty sick fucking song, dude. I love this chorus. This song's called Blood Infections. Reminds me of bass guitar that you'd hear in, like, old Misfits albums. Love that. This album is really black, really gray, really black parade sounding to me. It has the rawness of old My Chemical Romance with a black parade kind of feel. This is, she's the prettiest girl in the party and she can prove it with a mean right hook. Awesome song title, dude. Awesome song title. It's very atmospheric, very floaty. It's like a bad dream type floaty. What? This is like a 1950s high school dance, but except for like pretty lights and streamers, the power's out. And people are just dancing slowly in the dark. And the horrors are playing up on stage. Man, this is one of my favorites on the album, I believe. This, Waited, and the first track are so far my favorites on here. This one's called Stitches. The song makes me want to punch shit. It's got this fucking, like, tension to it. Uh, song's called Joyriding. Really dark, really cool. Stage 4, Fear of Trying. I love these song titles. Man, he's really got his, um... He's really got his own unique style. I like how, um, produced this is. Really haunting. Tragic-ishin? Tradition? Tragic-ishin. Our feedback. Oh shit. Woo! Never 
never enders. My god, he really has some jammers on this shit. Ah! Hoo wee! This song's called Smoke Rings. You gotta work out jamming out to this fucking thing. Are you supposed to do that with this emo type music? I don't know. But I, I'm enjoying this record. A lot of this really reminds me a little bit of the horrors. Lyric, I mean, uh, vocally a little bit. I'm sure he listens to the horrors. This is called Guilt Tripping. Ooh, I like that. Hello. Where do we belong? Anywhere but here. Let me go on a bit of a slower track. Damn, this one picked up speed. Damn, that was a cool way to end the album. Okay, well, my, my overall thoughts of that. Uh, I really like the, um, the darkness and the really unique sound that Frank is putting into his, his own personal uh, music. I can definitely hear influence of My Chemical Romance still in there, in and out. Um, but I thought the record was pretty good. I mean, for, a, for one of his debut things, um, I thought it was pretty cool. And I, and I think it's really cool how he has his own unique style and really unique voice. And it's something that will probably stick out. Um, I think it's great for My Chemical Romance fans. It gives people a little bit more hope, especially um, in Gerard Way. You know, he's coming out with his solo album. So um, I thought it was good. I thought it was a really cool... I thought it had a really cool theme. It had a really cool feeling throughout. There was a whole lot of really upbeat jamming songs in there among one of the more down-tuned ones. Um, she's the prettiest girl at the party, and she can prove it by throwing a mean right hook or whatever that song is called. That's definitely one of my top favorites on there. I really love how it's kind of, it, like I said in the review, it kind of sounds like an old 1950s high school dance, except it's like skeletons are dancing with like zombie brides. It's a, it's a really cool imagery um, that comes in my head when I hear that song, and I really like that. I also really love the first two tracks, um, All I Want Is Nothing and Waited. Those two are definitely all my top favorites as well, as as well as uh, Never Enders. I really like that. That's a jamming fucking puppin' song too. So, a few of my favorites there. Uh, some I liked more than others, but I mean, nothing I can fight the album for. Uh, yeah, really good. Uh, thank you for your suggestion. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, yeah, I hope you stick around. Yeah, that'd be cool. Anyway, that's Runway One Two Three Five. We'll see you guys later.